Later this morning, Oscar Pistorius will find out if he will return to jail. This when the Supreme Court of Appeal decides whether his conviction will change from manslaughter to murder. The Paralympian gold medalist was sentenced to a five-year jail sentence for killing his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp, in 2013, but was released on parole in October. Let's talk to our South Africa correspondent, Nomsa Maseka, who's outside the court in Johannesburg. Morning, Nomsa. And many people were very shocked and very disappointed, weren't they, that Oscar Pistorius wasn't given a more severe sentence? It depends who you ask, because those who support Oscar Pistorius believe that he was punished enough. And also those who support Riva Stienkamp's family say that one year uh, in jail is simply not enough. So we are expecting South Africa's second highest court, the Supreme Court of Appeal, to make another ruling today about whether or not Oscar Pistorius should be convicted of murder and, uh, the, uh, and have the uh, culpable homicide conviction overturned. So we are expecting to hear from Judge Eric Leach in about half an hour's time. It is five judges who will be ruling and it will be on a majority vote. So if two judges decide otherwise, decide whether or not Oscar Pistorius should be sent to jail or three judges decide that he should be convicted of murder, then we are expecting that the judge who sentenced Oscar Pistorius to culpable homicide should re-sentence Oscar Pistorius on a murder conviction and the minimum uh, uh, conviction for murder here in South Africa is 15 years. So we are expecting in half an hour's time to hear from the Supreme Court of Appeal. Nomsa, many thanks. Nomsa Maseko and of that decision later, due later this morning and of course we'll keep you up to date. Thank you Nomsa. 8.50 the time. Just want to bring you up to date with one of a number of breaking news stories this morning. We're just hearing that South Africa's Supreme Court has found Oscar Pistorius guilty of murder overturning previous culpable murder conviction. The judge has said that he will review his sentence, but that a retrial is not in the public's interest. In the result, on count one in the indictment, the accused ought to have been found guilty of murder on the basis that he had fired the fatal shots with criminal intent in the form of dolus eventualis. As a result of the errors of law referred to, and on a proper appraisal of the facts, he ought to have been convicted not of culpable homicide, on that count, but of murder. In the interest of justice, the conviction and the sentence imposed in respect thereof must be set aside and the conviction substituted with a conviction of the correct offence. Let's speak now to our South Africa correspondent, Norm Zemaseko, who's in Johannesburg for us, following very closely events. It was a little confusing. It was a, a, quite a, a, a long uh, speech from the judge. Just take us through. We heard there the decision has been made. At the moment, uh, Judge uh, Eric Leach gave what South Africa, the Supreme Court in South Africa, has never seen. Normally, the Supreme Court of Appeal takes about 10 minutes to deliver a judgment and its summary in writing. They never read it out. But because of the media interest, they saw that it was they had to do this, to take time out, to read and explain why they thought that Judge Togozi Lemasipa uh, aired when she uh, convicted Oscar Pistorius of culpable homicide or manslaughter. Now we have heard from Judge Eric Leach that Oscar Pistorius has now been found guilty of murder with a criminal intent and that he will have to be resentenced by the same judge who gave him a culpable homicide conviction in January. At the moment, Oscar Pistorius uh, will spend Christmas at home because uh, the, the, the court here in South Africa is now in recess. So around mid-January, Oscar Pistorius will know what his new prison sentence will be. So, Nobs, it's a rather curious, it's interesting hearing you uh, describe what will happen in practice. It's a rather curious situation where he is now guilty of murder, but a free man. At the moment, he is still under house arrest, uh, as, as you know. He uh, was told that uh, when he was released in October that he will be serving the rest of his five-year term um, at his uncle's home in Pretoria. So that will still apply until January when he has to go back to Judge Togozi Limasipa, who will have to re-sentence him 
for murder. The minimum uh, a sentence for murder here in South Africa is 15 years, but there are doubts that Judge Togozi Lemasipa would give out a 15-year murder sentence because Oscar Pistorius' lawyers will have to give compelling reasons why he should not serve a 15-year jail term. They did argue during the trial that his disability would mean that uh, he would possibly be uh, attacked uh, or he would be at risk of being attacked by other prisoners. So that is where we stand at the moment. Nomza, thank you very much uh, for that. That's the report from Johannesburg for us. Just to confirm, a judge uh, in the last uh, few minutes saying that Oscar Pistorius, uh, they're ruling that he is found guilty of murder, uh, not the previous conviction as was, but he uh, remains in house arrest and, as you're just hearing, uh, will await his next sentencing in January. There's been lots of breaking news in the last few hours. Uh, the latest news that we're covering here on airstrikes on Syria in the last hour.